Hi guys, welcome to the 5 minute video series on EduTap and today we are going to discuss a very important topic for the NABAD grade A exam that is Model Tenancy Act 2021. So before starting the session, if you are new to our YouTube channel, kindly subscribe it and press the bell icon to receive all the latest updates of the courses and videos offered by us and you can also join our Telegram channel to get the access to the PDF of the lectures. So before starting the session, let's discuss that why these acts are really important from the exam point of view. And we are going to discuss this with the help of a previous year question from the NABAD grade A 2020 phase 2 exam and here you can see that a question was being asked on the RTE Act in the NABAD grade A 2020 phase 2 exam and guys this is the reason that these acts and these acts and bills are really important from the exam point of view and that's why today we are going to discuss the Model Tenancy Act 2021. So guys before starting the session before moving on to the topic let's see that why what was the need of the Model Tenancy Act 2021. So guys if we talk about the rental housing laws these are being regulated by the state governments and these laws brought up by the state government put some ceiling on the rental amount and it also put some conditions for the eviction of tenants from the premises and guys these states laws brought up by the state governments these laws related to the rental housing brought up by the state governments led to low rental yields and guys it also disincentivizes the landlords from investing in the rental properties and to resolve this particular issue and to resolve and also to resolve some disputes between the tenants and landlords the model tenancy act 2021 was being approved by the government of india on 2nd of june 2021 so guys, if you talk about the Model Tenancy Act 2021, it aims to establish a speedy adjudication mechanism for the dispute resolution and it also seeks to regulate the renting of the premises. And after covering these two aims, it aims it protects the interests of the landlord as well as tenants. And we are going to discuss this in much more detail in the upcoming slides. So guys, when we talk about the aim of the Model Tenancy Act 2021, it aims to create a vibrant, sustainable and inclusive rental housing market in India. And guys, here you are required to remember three basic things that the Model Tenancy Act aims to balance interest and rights of the landlord as well as tenant. And it also aims to formalize the rental housing market in India and to encourage the private participation in the rental housing sector. And that's how this particular Model Tenancy Act 2021 is going to boost the rental housing market in India. And guys, if you talk about the Model Tenancy Act 2021, it requires the landlord as well as the tenant to sign a written agreement which specifies the amount of the rent as well as the period of tenancy, the terms and the period for revision of rent and also the security deposit to be paid in advance by the tenant to the landlord and landlord is required to refund this particular security deposit to the tenant when he evicts the premises. And guys, when we talk about the security deposit, the amount of security de deposit has been capped by the government at two months rent for the residential premises and six months rent for the non-residential premises. For example, if you talk about this particular premises, the rent of this particular residential premises is 1000, then the tenant is required to pay rupees 2000 as the security deposit to his landlord. And if it is a non-residential premises, then this security deposit amount will increase to 6000 rupees. And guys, apart from this, the there was a lot of dispute which is being escalated between the tenant as well as landlord and in order to define the conditions for the eviction guys the model tenancy act has defined the conditions for eviction of these tenants from the premises for example if the tenant refuses to pay the agreed upon rent or he fails to pay rent for more than two months then the landlord can approach the concerned authority for eviction of the tenant from the premises and guys uh, there are some other conditions as well for example if the tenant occupies a part or whole of the premises without any written consent from the landlord then also he will be eligible to get evicted from the premises so guys i hope that these conditions are very much clear to all of you and guys apart from that the Model Tenancy Act 2021 also aims to establish a three-tier quasi-judicial mechanism of adjudication of 
disputes between the landlord as well as the tenant and this is being done by the states by setting up a grievance redressal mechanism which will comprise of the rent authority the rent court as well as the rent tribunal and guys if you talk about the rent authority it will be headed by the deputy collector and if the landlord or tenant if the landlord or tenant do not satisfies with the decision taken by the rent authority he or she can appeal in the rent court and once again if they are not satisfied with the decision taken by the rent court then they can appeal in the rent tribunal as well so guys i hope that this particular thing is very much clear to all of you and now i want to add here one very important point that the disposal of a complaint the disposal of a complaint appealed by the rent court and the rent tribunal will be mandatory within the 60 days period and guys this particular part is very very much important from the exam point of view so guys that was all from the model tenancy act 2021 and i hope that you must have uh, that this particular session was very useful and fruitful to all of you and guys if you have any queries then you can drop us a mail at hello@edutab.co.in and you can also call us at 8146207241 so guys thank you for joining us wish you all happy learning